Hello, I'm Daniel. I want to read a quote from you today and then talk about it. This is a text I really love. It's called Cultivating the Empty Field, and I really like it. And it's basically like one of my favorites of little short books like this. It's one of my favorites, so I really recommend it. But I'm going to read you this quote. It's from Master Hongji, and it says, the practice of true reality is simply to sit silently in silent introspection. Here you can rest and become clean, pure, and lucid. Bright and penetrating, you can immediately return, accord, and respond to deal with events. Everything is unhindered, clouds gracefully flood up to the peaks, the moonlight glitteringly flowing down mountain streams, the entire place is brightly illumined and spiritually transformed. If you accord everywhere with thorough clarity and cut off sharp corners without dependence on doctrines, you can be called a complete person. I like that end part. What's a complete person? We'll get into that. But in our meditation practice, it's Hongji's style is the style that I is my main meditation style. It's called silent illumina illumination. It's a formless practice where we're just trying to be aware of what's happening and not we're not following a mantra or anything. But so sitting quietly and doing nothing, that's really how he defines the practice. That's really what the practice is. And it sounds like nothing, but really there's so much in the present moment. When we're sitting, it seems so boring a lot of the time. And I know, and we know that because people go to meditation and they quit because they're bored. But if we learn to really pay attention, then we can see things clearly. We may tell ourselves when we're sitting with the practice that nothing's happening. But the truth is there's never a point where nothing's happening. Things are happening all the time. Wonderful things, painful things, scary things, beautiful things. There are always so many things happening and it's never boring. I have heard the concept and I really like it that only boring people get bored. That you can find something to focus your attention on and not be bored anytime, always. And I really like that and that's what I say to the kids when they're like, I'm bored. Do let me do this or do this, right? I say, well, only boring people get bored, right? So we have this idea in our heads that we have a sort of right to be entertained all the time, that we should never be bored, not even for a second. I think our culture has really done a lot as far as creating ways to entertain ourselves and distract us. So even a moment of dullness can seem very uncomfortable, right? So if you wait in line, you're probably on your phone rather than just waiting in line, which would have been the thing in the old days. Because that dullness, well, maybe you're addicted to your phone like me, but maybe you're not. But just that boredom is really hard, just hard to deal with, even though it wasn't that long ago, right? It wasn't that long ago that, that we would just wait in the line. But so this makes meditation practice itself pretty scary in a way. Sitting and doing nothing seems like the just boringest, most awful thing we could possibly do. So in my day-to-day -day life, I not only am I listening to podcasts while I'm doing my work so that I'm not bored, but I'm also listening to them in my car and listening to them on the way to my car, on the way to my desk when I'm going for walks. And that's all I should, I need to stop doing that because I don't need to be entertained all the time. So that's sort of what I'm working towards. I should not be listening to podcasts. Uh, listening to it while I'm doing my work is fine, but listening to podcasts when I'm walking from my car to my desk at work, that's madness. I don't need to be doing that. I'm walking around. I'm seeing things, right? So that's what I'm personally working on as far as letting myself be bored. The truth is, like I said, only boring people get bored. And when we learn to pay attention, when we train in mindfulness, we can start to see how not boring everything is. We don't need distractions all the time. We can see and feel and think. These things are only boring if we're boring people, so let's not be boring. The world is transformed by our attention. Awareness makes everything bright and glittering. Even the bad parts of life can take on a new meaning if we learn to see them fully and be fully present with them. It's really up to us how we see things. We can see our meditation practice as a boring chore that we don't want to do, or we can see it as entering something special, training in awareness and clarity. The choice is ours. We have to turn our minds in order to see it differently. And 
So what's that business about sharp corners? He said, we want to get rid of our sharp corners. Those are those things that stop us from seeing clearly. Those things that cause us to bump up against other people and bump up against life. The things that just, the way we make enemies out of everything all the time. It's our emotional baggage, our neuroses and confusion. The things that cause us to close our hearts and build walls between ourselves and others and between ourselves and our experience. Those are sharp corners. And if we can put down those things once in a while, then we can see the world clearly. And what's a complete person? It's all based on how we feel, I think. When we're filled with delusion and our attention is fragmented, then we're incomplete. When we're not paying attention, it's very easy for us to feel like we're not good enough or to feel like life is passing us by or we're losing things that we deserve or whatever. A complete person is just one who's aware, who sees the world and their pace placed in it clearly. Pay attention and you'll be complete. And we do, we do. We, we talk in those terms sometimes, right? About being complete, about how you complete me, right? We say that sort of things, but we can complete ourselves. Being a complete person just means being fully present, being fully aware, seeing our, the world and our place in it, not getting torn up by delusion. So that's it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And again, this, this text is Cultivating the Empty Field, the Silent Illumination of Zen Master Hongji. It should say Chan Master Hongji, but I'll forgive it. And the text is by Dan Leeton, Tigan Dan Leeton. So I really recommend it. It's cheap, it's little, it's easy to read. Um, that's it. Have a good day.